Let's talk about Neptune. It is eighth and the most distant planet of the solar system that was named after the Roman god of the sea. Did I say the most distant planet? Well, there might be another planet called Planet X or Planet 9, but that's a topic for a different video, so let's go back to Neptune. It is about four times wider than Earth. If Earth were an apple, Neptune would be the size of a basketball. A day on Neptune is about 16 hours and a year is about 165 Earth years. Neptune is our solar system windiest world. Wind whips clouds of frozen methane across the planet at a speed of more than 2000 km per hour. It is close to the top speed of a US Navy FA-18 Hornet fighter jet. By comparison, Earth's most powerful winds hit only about 400 km per hour. The magnetic field of Neptune is about 27 times more powerful than that of Earth. The planet experiences temperature range from approximately 55 Kelvin to 72 Kelvin. Neptune's axis of rotation is tilted by 28 degrees, which is similar to the axis tilts of Mars and Earth. This means that Neptune experiences seasons just like we do on Earth. However, since its year is so long, each of the four seasons lasts for over 40 years. Neptune is the only planet in our solar system that's not visible to the naked eye. It is more than 40 times as far from the Sun as Earth. From this distance, sunlight takes approximately 4 hours to travel from Sun to Neptune. Neptune is so far from the Sun that high noon on this ice giant would seem like dim twilight to us. The sunlight we see here on our home planet is roughly 900 times as bright as it is on Neptune. Sometimes Neptune is even further from the Sun than the dwarf planet Pluto. How come? Well, Pluto has an unusual oval-shaped orbit that brings Pluto inside Neptune's orbit for 20 years every 248 Earth years. Pluto being closer to the Sun than Neptune happened most recently from 1979 to 1999. So can they crash? Fortunately, no, as for every three laps Neptune takes around the Sun, Pluto makes two. This repeating pattern prevents close approach of the two bodies. How was it discovered? It was first observed in 1612 by Galileo, who incorrectly recorded Neptune as a fixed star. More than 200 years later, Neptune became the first planet located through mathematical predictions rather than through regular observation of the sky. The astronomers were wondering why Uranus does not travel exactly as expected. A French mathematician proposed that it could be caused by the influence of the mass of an unknown planet, and he calculated the position of that planet. When he shared his prediction with a German astronomer, he found Neptune on his first night of searching. 17 days later, Neptune's largest moon, Triton, was discovered. There is only one spacecraft that studied Neptune up close. It's NASA's Voyager 2, that in 1989 passed above the planet's North Pole. New moons of Neptune are still being discovered in the modern times. Just in 2002, four new moons were found and a year later another one was discovered. The last discovery took place in 2013 when the 14th moon was found. So far, Neptune has 14 known moons, with Triton being the largest. It is the only large moon in the solar system that circles its planet in a direction opposite to the planet's rotation, which suggests that it might once have been an independent object that was captured by Neptune. Triton is extremely cold, with surface temperature of around 38 kelvins, and yet, despite this deep freeze at Triton, Voyager 2 discovered geysers spewing icy materials upwards more than 8 kilometers. Triton's thin atmosphere, also discovered by Voyager, has been detected from Earth several times since and it's growing warmer, but scientists don't know yet why. Neptune's atmosphere is made of hydrogen, helium and methane. These components, specifically methane, are what gives the planet its blue color. Neptune's neighbor, Uranus, is also blue color due to methane in its atmosphere, but Neptune is more vivid, brighter blue, so there must be an unknown component that causes the, the more intense color. It does not have a solid surface, and most of the planet's mass is made up of a hot, dense fluid of icy materials like water, methane, and ammonia, above a solid core with about the same mass as Earth. That's all about Neptune for today, but there is so much more about it and about solar system. Stay tuned, as more is coming every Monday on Quick Science.